Erie News now is election coverage you can count on. Millions of Pennsylvanians will be heading to the polls tomorrow to vote in the primary election. Our Ethan Kibbe is joining us now with a look at the key races in which voters have choices. Ethan, good evening. Eva, good evening. You'll technically have choices in a lot of races, although many of them, like the presidential race, those are foregone conclusions. Technically, they're contested races, but President Biden, former President Trump already have the votes needed. They're going to be on the ballot in November. That is not the case, though, not by any means for some other races. Let's go around the state. Let's start with Attorney General. This is an interesting one. Michelle Henry filled in for Josh Shapiro when he became governor. She said, I'm not running. I'm not a politician, not running. That means we've got both sides of the ticket where you'll have options tomorrow. Here's the Democratic side. As you can see, five, five Democrats vying for Attorney General. Probably your front runner, Eugene D. Pasquale, simply because of name recognition. He's the state's former Auditor General. Two on the Republican side as well as we take a look at this. Dave Sunday, Craig Williams vying for that job. We'll see who emerges tomorrow when all of those votes are tallied. We do know, however, we're going to have a new Attorney General come November. And regardless of which party you belong to, you will be able to vote in that race tomorrow. Let's move along here, talk about Aud or Auditor General for just a moment. On the Democratic side, we've got Mark Pinsley and Malcolm Kenyatta, both running to unseat current Republican Tim DeFore. This is an interesting race to watch as well, neither with huge name recognition in this part of the state, so we're really keeping an eye on our region. It could give us an indicator of how things will shape up in November. A few more races to keep an eye on. Treasurer for one, because Ryan Bizarro of Erie is running in that race against Aaron McClelland. Of course, right now, Stacey Garrity, the re Republican, is the incumbent. These two vying for the chance to square off with her come November. And then one other race, and this is the big local primary, that would be that state Senate district on the Democratic side, Jim Wirtz, Selena King, one of them will take on Dan Laughlin this fall. This obviously a very local, very important race in our region and it's one we'll have crew members on tomorrow night. There are also some House districts that are really interesting and could, could set the stage for November. We'll talk about those, though, tomorrow. You'll have to wait till then. For now, though, Ethan Kibbe, Erie News Now. All right, Ethan.